Hey guys, it's Josh the Cardinal Off-Road. Today we're finally going to be installing my Motobuilt uh, fuel cell. I've had this for a while, but I kind of want to hold off because I changed a lot in the rear and I want to make sure that was all done prior to installing the fuel cell. That way I can move this stuff all around and then recut lines and stuff like that. So I chose the Motobuilt um, mainly because I know this particular one will fit with the rear seat. And that's what I wanted because I'm keeping the rear seat in my Jeep TJ. Um, also, it worked well with the Rockman tailgate because uh, that tailgate is about three inches thick. So it's perfect amount of space uh, to fit this fuel cell. So um, they do offer bigger ones. I want to say this one, this might be the 15 gallon one. Um, I know they offer bigger ones, but like I said, this one uh, will fit the best in my Jeep. So should be pretty easy to install. install. Uh, the fuel cell for Motorbuilt comes with a fuel cell. Um, comes with two um, threads right here. Now, got a female and a male. Now, I believe, I want to say 2003 and newer, perhaps, you'll need this one. Now, if you have like, mine's an 01, an older one, you're just going to cap that off. And then they also have the return line. That comes with that. And then it's going to use the stock uh, fuel pump. So we'll be installing that as well. And then it also comes with a fuel cap. Um, I'm going to use the fuel cap for now, but I think down the road I'm actually going to install a hose. Uh, that way it's more outside the Jeep uh, and a little easier to fill as well. So it comes with the brackets, one for each side. Comes with your gaskets and everything for the fuel ring to mount uh, the fuel pump onto the fuel cell. Uh, we'll be taking the stock one off the fuel tank. That one will just unscrew and then it will go with this one and then it'll get mounted with some bolts on here. We'll do that here in a little bit. I went ahead and ordered some fittings from Summit. Now I'll list all the part numbers here in a little bit if you want to order those. And then I also got some hose clamps and then I also got some Permatex for fuel. Uh, I know some people use Teflon tape. Uh, but I've heard some stories where that will kind of eat away eventually. Um, so I'm going to go with the Permatex and try that. Uh, you just want to make sure you get them off the fuel. Now I'm going to use fuel hose. Uh, you can use brake line if you want. I actually had some hose laying around, uh, so I just chose to do it that way for now. Uh, eventually I'll probably go with brake line. There's no hard bends and anything like that, and the fuel hose on this is going to be all pretty much covered. So nothing will be in the way of any danger of hitting rocks or sticks and stuff like that. So that's why I'm going with the fuel hose right now. But if you want to do braided line, uh, which I would probably recommend, that's what I would go with. So let's go ahead. We're going to take the fuel pump off the stock tank, and then I'll show you how to mount it on the new fuel cell. Obviously, it's a good idea, if you can, to get as much fuel out of this as possible uh, before taking this off. So what I did was I just tipped it up over a five-gallon bucket and dumped it out. I'm going to put it in a gas can. Just like so. All right, so when you pull this out, you want to make sure that you don't bend anything. Um, otherwise, it's not going to read your fuel correctly. So we got that out. I'm going to go ahead and set this to the side, and then we'll work on the fuel cell. All right, so now that we got the fuel pump out, the next thing we want to do is get our ring set up to go inside the fuel cell. And then the other ring will go outside. Uh, we'll clamp the fuel pump together and hold it in place. Now, the options of this, um, before you stick it in here, is you can weld all the bolts on this, which is what I'm going to do. Um, otherwise, you have to put the ring in here, just like that. And then you need to try to go underneath here to put all the bolts through. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take 
take all the bolts, weld them to the ring, put the ring in there, fit it up through, and then I'll just have to hold the ring and all the bolts will be sticking up. Put the fuel pump in there. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of Permatex around the edge before I put the fuel pump in there, and then I'll put the outer ring on, and then we'll tighten all those up. So, like I said, you don't have to weld all these bolts on here, um, but it's just gonna make it a lot easier to where you don't have to reach your arm all the way through here and to the other side. Uh, so that's gonna make it a little bit difficult, especially with the fuel pump and stuff in there. So we're gonna go ahead and weld these up and then we'll install it. Alright, so once you're done, this is what you should have. Um, now I'm going around and pretty much tack these twice, uh, just to make sure they won't turn at all. Now all we're going to do is install this into the fuel cell. Now it's a good idea to make sure this is cooled down uh, prior to installing the fuel pump and the Permatex for the seal. So now you can see we have all the bolts sticking up through. Um, now we don't have to worry about putting a wrench through the bottom uh, where the fill neck is to tighten all these down. So next step is I'm just going to insert the fuel pump into the fuel cell. Alright so I went ahead and dropped the fuel pump in there. I went ahead and put some Permatex um, on the lip of the fuel pump uh, because you will not be reusing the rubber seal that was on it before. So now the next thing we want to do is put the ring over the top. Now on this as well I'm going to lay a little bead around the um, flange as well before we tighten it down. So this is how I did mine. Um, I put a little bit on the inside lip there that's going to go over the fuel pump um, lip and then I also took the Permatex around each bolt hole as well. So we'll go ahead and set this on and then we'll tighten it down. Now that we got the clamping ring down, um, I went ahead and wiped some of the Permatex off, the extra that was coming, kind of oozing out. Um, <clears throat> there'll probably be a little bit more once we clamp it down. So next thing I want to do is take these nylon washers that are supplied with the fuel cell and just go ahead and place them around on each bolt. Once I get all those on, then we'll put the lock nuts down. So the fuel pump's installed. The next thing I'm going to do is cap this off. Now, I made sure I looked um, looked it up. It is 05 and newer. So the 05s and 06s um, will use this, but 04s and down will use a cap. So you can get this through Summit Racing. So all I'm going to do is put a little Permatex on that, and then I will install that on there. Um, and then we'll also install our return line. And the nice thing about this return line is if in case of a rollover, it's got a little ball on there and it'll actually keep the fuel from coming back through. So we're going to go and put some Permatex on both of these and then go and install them. The next thing we need to install is the fuel um, cap assembly. So I'm pretty much going to install this exactly like I did the fuel pump. Um, and I'm going to weld the bolts again on the flange for the bottom. We'll stick it in there, we'll stick it up through, uh, put a seal on, we've got a rubber gasket. Now you can also use Permatex for this as well. 
and then we will put the cap ring back on, clamp it, bolt it down. So let's go ahead and tack these into place. I went ahead and pushed the ring up with the studs um, welded to it. Now, some of these, I think two or three, um, I must have hit with the tip uh, when I went to weld it because they were kind of crooked. So not a big deal, I just took it out, I took some pliers and I just kind of bent them whichever way they needed to be. Um, and they're good to go now. So obviously just be cautious when you're welding, make sure that they're all straight down as good as possible. Next thing we're gonna do is put this rubber um, gasket on. Now this comes with the fuel cell as well. Um, you can also use the Permatex if you want. So we're gonna lay that on there, just like so. And the next thing we're gonna install is the fuel cap itself. Um, so this will just line up, just like so. We got the fuel fill hooked up, fuel pump hooked up, got the one um, valve or whatever end capped off. Um, remember that's if it's 05 and newer, so 05 and 06, uh, you're not going to cap that off, you'll actually use that. Um, 04 and older, um, you're going to cap that off. And then we have a return um, fitting also um, tightened up with um, Permatex on it. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a barb uh, with a female fitting inside the 5 16 hose. Uh, I'm going to put a hose clamp on there first and I'm actually going to put a little Permatex, permatex um, on the barb itself as well. And then we're going to stick that in there. Just like so. And then I'll tighten that hose clamp up here in a little bit. Now, this uh, fitting that you're going to want for the 5 16 um, is a SUM-220769B. Um, as in Bravo. Um, so you're going to want two of those uh, because you're going to want one on this side and then you're going to want one on the other end as well um, if you're hooking it up the way the factory uh, fuel line was. Then the next um, fitting you're going to want, which is going to click on the uh, or hook up to the fuel pump, which is going to um, thread into there, is going to be a SUM 221340B as in Bravo. Um, so I'll show you here in a minute. This is going to screw in here. I'm going to put some Permatex on there as well. And then this will snap on to the fuel pump just like the factory one did. Um, now you'll have to take that fitting off and you also want to take um, this little piece off too. I can get out of here. When you take this fitting off, this will stay on uh, the nipple of the fuel pump. So you want to break that old one off because you're going to use this new one. Um, and I'll show you that here in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this hose um, fitting up, and then we'll go ahead and connect this to the fuel pump. Here's the nipple I was talking about on the fuel pump. Now, like I said, you'll have a plastic piece when you pull that hose off. Um, you'll just want to break that off. Um, you got kind of like a ring or a flare around that. So you want to take that off. We're going to go ahead and take our new hose. All we're going to do is push it on there. Just like so. So that's connected now. And then if you ever want to take this off, you're just going to push the two blue. If I can get it here. I don't think my fingers around there or not. Use a pair of needle nose. You'll just push the two blue tabs in and then that piece will stay on there from now on. And then when you want to put the hose back on, you can hear it snap. So this is hooked up. Then I'm going to feed the line uh, for the supply um, to the line on uh, the main line on the Jeep. And I'm going to use the same type of fittings. So those are going to be the exact same fittings um, for this one and the other one. So obviously here's the barb for the other end. Now the fitting for the other end um, looks pretty much the same. It's the same concept. It's going to be a TNK 640853. 
um, and that's going to push on exactly like it will at the fuel pump. So I'm going to go ahead and put that barb in, run my fuel line through, and hook it up. All right, so the next thing we need to do is hook up our um, return line. Now, for this, I'm just going to put some Permatex on here and then put my hose on and then hose clamp it down. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're all done. Um, now one thing you'll notice is uh, this setup I made to hold down the fuel cell. The reason I did that is because these hinges were actually hitting the moto built one. Um, so that's the reason I did that. There's just not enough room for this tailgate because uh, that's the Rockman storage tailgate. Um, so that's the reason I did those straps. Looks pretty good, it's gonna hold it down well. Um, now on this return line, when it goes down in the Jeep, there's no fitting down there. It's pretty much the same setup. You're just going to put the line over the, um, the fixed line and then hose clamp it. So other than that, we got to fill up with fuel and then you might have to prime it a little bit to get the fuel up through that hose. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.